Ivan, and I'm going to do a quick overview of how to build an ETA mixer with the specific focus on building one that is completely anonymous and does not require human interaction or human subsidies. So if you look at the state of the apps right now, many of them are not 100% decentralized. They tend to require either a price feed or maybe a relayer that's subsidized by some company. Maybe one exception would be Uniswap that exists on chain and requires pretty much no interaction. And so let's see how close we can get to that gold standard. So first of all, there's a few mixing technologies that exist these days. The first one is CoinJoin, that's what's used in Bitcoin, specifically, for example, in the Wasabi wallet. And it's also used in Mimble, Wimble, and Grim, if you've been following that project. Uh, then there's decoy base, which is used in Monero. And finally, there's uh, zero knowledge <coughs> Oracle tree based uh, protocols. Uh, the, the best known one is Zcash, and there's a few Ethereum mixers built on top of that, uh, that protocol as well, including Mesimus and Tornado Cash. So, a uh, quick overview of all three. CoinJoin is basically instead of two people doing two, diff uh, two different transactions, uh, they come together for the purposes of on helping each other be anonymous and they merge that into one single transaction. So for example, here if Tan is a drug dealer and uh, Bob and Alice used CoinJoin, uh, it's impossible to know whether Alice or Bob uh, paid the drug dealer, so they kind of give each other this plausible deniability. The problem with that is your anonymity set is very low. If there's maybe five people doing the coin join, then there's five people helping you be slightly more anonymous, but that's not quite good enough. Uh, then the next thing is the decoy based privacy, uh, which is used in Monero. The idea is you can use any on chain UTXO and pretend that that could have been your input. So basically, every transaction has maybe 10 to 15 sources. Only one of them is real, the rest of them could, could like not even know that they've been used in the anonymization. So that's, that's quite a lot better. And then there's a separate technique for, fight, for hiding the amounts behind those transactions, where you do bit by bit encoding. Uh, but decoy protocols have suffered from a bunch of attacks before. Uh, long story short, uh, there's risks of repeated interactions, so if the same person pays the same drug dealer a few times in a row, there's going to be multiple part, multiple paths in the transaction graph uh, that, uh, from that person to the drug dealer. That's pretty bad. Uh, point being, kind of by a process of elimination, we arrive at zero-knowledge Merkle tree-based mixers as the only uh, the only way to achieve maximum anonymity. And here the idea is there's a shielded pool that keeps all the money uh, that wants to participate in the anonymization, and no one knows who pays whom within the pool, and then you deposit into the pool, wait for a while, and then withdraw. And so that is kind of the most private way of anonymizing your coins. Okay, so what are the components of a ZK SNARF mixer? First, you need a or smart contract that uh, that takes that money and processes deposits and withdrawals. Typically requires a trusted setup, but not, not necessarily anymore. There's also ZK starts. Then you need to uh, generate uh, the Merkle tree leaves for deposits. Uh, basically that's, if you go here, that's the first arrow of entering the shielded pool. Then you need to exit the shielded pool and that requires uh, about 60 seconds. Uh, and then you need to send out those transactions. Uh, inter the idea is every single piece of those components can live on chain, either on Ethereum on, or IPFS. The hardest part is sending the transactions. So that has to be a relayer sponsoring all that. And uh, there's, first off, you need to differentiate between the person uh, helping you withdraw and the recipient address so that you can withdraw to clean addresses and have the fees handled for you. So uh, how do we sponsor that? One, we could deposit money into Compound, 
to uh, into the Uniswap uh, as liquidity pool, or we can take a fee. And so, if you do a quick calculation, uh, Uniswap would sponsor a transaction uh, at 800,000 gas, which is roughly the average price, up to 0.25 GUI, which to those who uh, use it here, you know that this is very little. Uh, this, this will never go through on chain actually. And then if you deposit DAI, which gives you much higher interest rate, that's up to 4 GUI. And then if you take 1% or 5% fee, that's, that's much more realistic. So uh, long story short, for anonymization amounts of roughly one ether, you need to pay roughly 5% fee to sponsor the withdrawal and make the relayer sustainable. And here are some more links to, to look at that.